Michael once again. Happy Friday, Northern Michigan. We got another jam-packed basketball show for you tonight as part of Hometown Highlights if you want to stay up late with us. But maybe the best matchup of the week actually took place last night in boys basketball. Bel Air, the Eagles, off to an 8-0 and start. 5-0 and in the Ski Valley Conference. On away, 7-1 overall, but they are also 5-0 and in league play. And what do you know, they're going at it. Something's got to give on the Eagles' home floor. Tough to play in front of those fans, but a lot of Cardinal fans made the trip down, too. Onaway looking great. Top scorer Joe Obradovich early on gives an assist to Andrew Prow on the prowl for deep from three. Then Chris Cleaver is going to clean up a missed shot here, get the work down low. Onaway has an early 5-4 to four advantage on the road, but then the Eagles take flight. Joe Sigsby going to get picked off by Denny Hall, and Hall will do the rest, running down the floor and getting the easy lay-in. Then the Eagles showing they can work in the half court as well. The boys feed Hunter Rowe down low. Nice little spin move on the baseline to get the lay-in to go. And in the second quarter, more of the same as far as steals and scores. Adam Underwood puts in a reverse and a tumble. Out of bounds, too, but you get the two points either way. Bel Air wins big to stay perfect in the Ski Valley, 67-34. The next challenger waiting in the wings for the Eagles could be Mancelona. They're 5-1 in conference play, but they had to get by their own Cardinal squad last night. Johannesburg Lewiston coming to visit. Brandon Huff, put-back move for the Cardinals. He's great in football. He looks pretty good in basketball as well. Followed by this play, Brandon Huff to Logan Huff. Same last name, so the sinkness, it just comes in handy, especially when you're stretching the ball over that length of the floor. Ironman got some great weapons, though, too. Jacob Allen ends this possession with a three-pointer for number 2-4. And then, do you hear the ding? It must be Brandon Ding Min. He's automatic as the ding of a bell. Mancelona goes on to win by 14, 57-43 the final last night. 